In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was a descendant from the house and family of David. God, what do you want me to do? Mary's about to have her baby, and I don't know what you expect of me. Do I reject Mary and seek another Mary for the one to come? The father of this child that Mary says comes from you. I listen for your answer, but all I hear is whistling through the cedars. I am called to Bethlehem for the senses. I do I take Mary and the unborn child with me? The only answer I know is remain faithful. Faithful to you and faithful to Mary. It is what I try to do. I will go to Bethlehem. I will the father to the child you have sent. Bless me, God, as I sent forth on a journey that I know will change my life forever. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. I see the face of God in your tiny finger pressed against mine. I see the face of God in your face, ever changing, full of light. I will hold you close until you no longer need the warmth of my arms, until you encircle the earth with your own arms. I will dry your tears until you dry the tears of all of God's children. My soul magnifies my God, and my spirit leaps within me. My, the world will call me blessed, and blessed I will be.
shepherds, they will be awake sitting up when all of the other angels come and waken them with light and song. I just wanted one last look at them sleeping peacefully, not knowing that their lifelong dreams of a Messiah are at last coming true. Let them sleep until heaven opens up and they see the truth. They will be the one in Bethlehem. Jesus is the Messiah. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the Lord, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly there was with the angel and the multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace. Please stand and join us in singing Angels We Have Heard on High, hymn number 278.
found Mary and Joseph and were the child and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. <coughs> The child was this. It was amazing, incredible, unbelievable. The whole show was full of angels, and they were singing and telling us that the baby was born in Bethlehem. He is the baby of all been waiting for. He is the Messiah, God's chosen one. I want to see him for myself, in my own eyes. Do you want to see him? I'll meet you see him miracle. Stopped, they were overwhelmed 
with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
<coughs> so let us then join in God's work of making it a safer world, a more beautiful world, a more joyful world. <coughs> we make our offerings. This evening's offering will be the Christmas joy offering. It's used in the Presbyterian Church to care for church workers who are uh, not having their needs, needs met in traditional uh, fashion and resources. And it also provides a way for young people to go to uh, historic uh, minority colleges in the Presbyterian Church. So let us make our drug offerings to the Lord our God. Thank you. 